Imagine opening your eyes for the first time, and everything feels heavy. Not metaphorically, literally. Your own body pulls you down like a lead weight. Every heartbeat feels like lifting a mountain. Walking isn't natural. It's a conquest. This isn't Earth. This is a super Earth. A rocky planet like ours, but far more massive. And here, gravity isn't gentle. It's brutal. Ten times stronger than Earth. On a planet like this, evolution doesn't just adapt, it transforms. Bones are thick, dense, reinforced like steel beams. A single fracture could be lethal under this weight. So skeletons evolve like armor. Muscles are vast, layered, corded with strength beyond anything on Earth. Even the smallest child has the raw power of an Olympic lifter. Because they must, survival demands it. But life here doesn't soar. It clings. Birds? Unlikely. Flight is nearly impossible. Wings can't beat gravity this strong. If anything flies, it's small, fast, and short-lived, like darts of biology flitting between shelter and shadow. Trees don't grow tall, they hug the ground. Forests are dense, low and uninviting. Verticality is death. Everything about life on a Tengia world is compressed, fortified and efficient. Eyes may evolve larger, to navigate the dimmer, thicker atmosphere. Lungs become stronger, or more numerous. Oxygen doesn't flow easily through air this dense. Breathing is wor- Every inhale is a labor of survival. And what about humans? We wouldn't be human. Not as we know ourselves. Homo sapiens as evolved on Earth, would collapse under their own weight. So evolution rewrites us. We'd be shorter much short, maybe three feet tall, but thick, wide, massively built. Our torsos would be dense with organ redundancy. Our necks would be short, thick, barely mobile, supporting a skull weighed down by pressure. Spines reinforced with natural shock absorber. Joints, multi-layered with cartilage and protein-rich fluids. Our skin might evolve to be tough, rubbery resistant to abrasion and pressure. And movement, it wouldn't be fast. It would be deliberate, grounded, precise. No sprinting, no jumping, no falling without consequence. Gravity doesn't forgive mistakes here. Technology follows biology. Wheels are less useful than tracks. Structures are squat, domed, built low into the earth to resist collapse. Architecture favors the stable, not the sore. No towering cities, just burrowed complexes and sprawling hardened shelters. Even time moves differently. On a Tengia world, energy is precious. Every action has a cost. Societies evolve slowly, cautiously, always weighing risk against effort. Exploration is limited. Accidents are often fate. Myths are built around falling, around flight. Dreams of lightness are the stuff of legend. But then, we discover space. Escape velocity on this world is immense. More than five times what it is on Earth. Rockets must be titanic. Launches, rare and sacred. But we do. And when we finally reach orbit, something astonishing happens. We float. For the first time in our evolutionary history, weightlessness. For beings born under ten times Earth's gravity, zero G would feel like divinity. A dream, movement without resistance. Strength with no birth. A godlike freedom. And it changes us. We begin to build in space. Not because we want to, but because we must. Life on the surface is limited. But up here, among the stars, we are finally untethered. Now imagine such a species reaching Earth. A world where gravity is gentle. To them we are fragile, light, paper thin. To us they are giants, dense, slow-moving titans whose strength we can't begin to fathom. Communication would be cautious, delicate, not because of fear but because one handshake could crush us. And yet, they might envy us. We dance, we leap, we climb, all things impossible in their world. To them we are poetry in motion. To us, they are monuments in flesh. So we ask, what if life had evolved under ten times the gravity? Would it be stronger, slower, smart, or would it see us not as lesser but as something beautifully, impossibly light? In the end, gravity shapes more than bodies. It shapes worldviews, dreams, destiny. And on a planet where every step is a struggle, hope itself would be the force that defies the pull.